Uh, the songwriting skills, phenomenal. Thank you very much. Like storytelling skills are so like prominent in your writing. Oh, I appreciate that, thank you. It's great to listen Try to. Your best, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been writing for? I've been writing, I mean, as a kid I used to write poems a lot, but I was never into singing or anything like that, but I've been doing music really for the last eight years probably, so since I was about 17, 18. But yeah, writing's always been quite an interest to me, like poems and stuff, but the singing thing's always been like a bit scary and then I just grew a pair of balls basically and then started did, learning guitar. Did you always know that you had a voice? <laughs> Not really, no. I think my mum did. My mum was like, go and do singing lessons, go, you know, do this, do that. I'm like, no, school shows, no, no thanks, karaoke, no. But now, like, it's just live and breathe it, so. And the poetry, like, do you still do the poetry? Uh, I mean, in some sense, yeah, in my songs, but not really, you know. I, I mean, I'd like to get back into it, because poetry's great, like, you know. I, know, I suppose it is lyrics anyway. Yeah, that's it? it, yeah. It tells a story, doesn't it? And yeah, Hopefully sure. makes an impact, so, yeah. It's, it's Doing the poetry at young age has probably helped you with your lyrics and stuff. Oh, 100%, yeah. It's like, like, as I said before, your songwriting and the storytelling is great. Yeah, oh, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I just feel like writing songs as well, like, you know, everyone can write a love song, but if you write, you need to write about, like, there's a lot of issues going on and everyone knows that at the minute and the world is just getting a, more of a scary place as we go on. So, you know, the kids need to hear it, don't they? They need For to sure. know what's going on and be aware of it all and, you know, not everyone has an easy ride, like, so... But there's not a voice to pull you away Cause your dad's only doing the same And there's definitely no food No school No open arms for you But where is the care in the world right now? Yeah! Right from experience, or do you like hear a story and go, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell this in my my songs"? Or? I'd say I write from perspective, really. So it's like I've I've had quite a, a fortunate upbringing. You know, my mum and dad have always supported me from day one. But I work with kids in, in in the day, like so. My day that's my day job. So from seeing what they go through, and you know, there's a lot of deprived areas near me, and seeing that as a story and, and kind of like just appreciating what you've got and being grateful for what you, what you have it's just made me realize it's eye-opening and you know there's a song in it essentially and that's that's kind of what I've, I've gone down really um you know the last few songs i've done they are linking to societal issues and like i said it's important for the kids to hear it and it's something i'm passionate about as well that's so beautiful so what what is it that you actually do with kids? Like your your It's thing? complicated to explain it. It's it's play work if you've heard of it. I don't like Yeah, yeah. So it's like I run like play schemes and like we put on different provisions around where I'm from, so on the parks and stuff, and it's all about like decreasing anti social behaviour and supporting those with additional That's needs and time. just just kind of being there for them. And for me it's always been like I mean, I've never I think like going through my jobs and stuff growing up, I've always wanted to like be a bit of a role model and I like to try and do that with my music, but also in my day job, like having someone to look up to, I think it's important because not everyone does have a mum and dad that, you know, that's going to support them. So 100%. that's kind of where my music stems from as well. <clears throat> that's so lovely, like that you want to be an inspiration to those kids, but you're also taking inspiration from them for your art 100% yeah it's like full it's, circle yeah full so, circle so stuff yeah it's cool I think yeah it's important though isn't it I think having a role model is a massive thing and hopefully it can guide people to a, a better place because we know how difficult it is like especially with you know social media and you know a lot of issues are, are going on at the moment it's just it's good for them to have a bit of a helping hand I suppose for sure do you think that's important for you with your music to get like a message across yeah you like I know there's massive artists doing it at the moment Sam Fender Jamie Webster's a prime one in Liverpool um they're massive influences of mine I think telling a story is a lot really really important yeah love songs are great and you know I've, I've wrote love songs breakups bad relationships stuff like that and it's relatable but I think you know the real gritty stuff is what people can connect with even more do you know what I mean because everyone's seen it everyone round about has been involved in it in some way sure. whether they have seen it or they've been they've experienced it so yeah and it's refreshing as well. It isn't just a love song or a breakup song or anything like that. It is nice. to it, it really does catch your attention and it makes you listen to those words. You know, when it's not the same sort of, oh, I love you and this and that. Like, it really does. You start listening to the story and going, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Wow.
that last year, Aim really, I think, writing a song and definitely having an impact on other people. Like if people listen to your tunes and think, Whoa, that's good, you know, they, they can probably feel it. That is that's like one of the, the dreams, like you know. Absolutely, a hundred percent. you're so inspiring with like just your whole aura and your vibe and what you want to do and nice song. your songwriting, it's just it's lovely to be in the presence of. And he won't go to work today. Cause he stood on the by classes. No respect filled with regret. Another pregnancy test to well I have way boys. They haven't got much choice. Well I have way boys. They scream and shout, make too much noise. Cause that goes down for a dodgy deal. A mum gets caught drunk at the wheel Well I have way boys They haven't got much choice What's next for you? <sighs> Conquering the world hopefully <laughs> uh, Yeah, there's got to be We all say Wembley don't we But a huge venue supporting I don't know, someone like Sam Fender Massive idol of mine um, I mean, I've just started playing in a band this year, so my aim at the moment is to kind of build momentum with that. You've got a band as well? Yeah, so oh, I, a lot of my songs, like I played them stripped back in the sessions, but a lot of them are full band songs. So this year I've started venturing out and that and playing bigger gigs, venues in Liverpool, Manchester, and that, that's my aim at the moment, is just to keep going and going. Um, yes, I work full time, but this is also on the side and it's something I want to pursue long term. It's a difficult industry, we all know that, but, sure. uh -huh. I, you know, I believe with the right drive and the right passion, you can get anywhere you want to. Absolutely. That's 100% the attitude that you need. Have you got, like, anything in the pipeline, as in, like, gigs coming up that people can book tickets to, or...? Off the top of my head, I can't think, to be honest. Are you I've, I'm supporting a, I'm supporting a band uh, called Shambolics, who are... They're from Scotland originally, but they're signed to a label called Scruff of the Neck. Um... That'll be in October, on October the 10th. That's in Wrexham, so it's near me. But, yeah, there's a lot going on there um, in Wrexham at the minute with the North Wales music scene, um, which links to a documentary that I was on as well recently. So Amazing. Um, my mate Luke um, directed a documentary all about North Wales music scene and the mental health struggles of one of my friends and his journey and how we're trying to put North Wales on the map. Love that. So, um, yeah. Is it released? Is that it on? is. It's on BBC Two. It was, it's on iPlay at the moment. So oh, it released that. last month. So that, again, like me being from North Wales, it's a massive honour to kind of like spur that on from my roots and get something going in there as well. It's honestly amazing to see. I think what you're doing, you're fully on the right journey. You've got the right attitude and you're heading in the right direction. It's just so, so lovely to see. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. I hope so. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait to see what the future holds. For sure. Listen, thank you so much for coming in and chatting thank with you. me and playing with us today. It's been a pleasure. Nice one. Cheers. Thank you so much. <laughs>